talk about here is we talk about uh, sorting and uh, checking up on coins. Welcome on stage. Thank you. Floor is We look forward to your presentation. <coughs> okay. Uh, good evening. Uh, thank you to our hosts. Thank you all for being here. So uh, I know it's a bit late, so uh, I try my best to do 10 minutes sharp. And uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. So uh, today uh, we'll be speaking about uh, optical inspection and the sorting of coins in circulation. Okay. Uh, but first, uh, let's see what we can uh, offer. Uh, our range of uh, products. Uh, so we have the Visia uh, high speed, high capacity inspection for uh, coin bonds. Okay. We have the Visia Compact. Oh. Sorry. Uh, inspection of uh, coin bonds designed for means and smaller blank uh, productions. Um, we have the Visilab. Metrology for uh, coins and blanks. We have the VisiCoin, uh, coin and blank inspection for mints. And so now, let's see what we can offer uh, for uh, when the blanks, uh, when the coins are uh, already manufactured. So, uh, for coins uh, in circulation, first of all, uh, why should we do uh, something about this uh, the inspection? Well, uh, uh, simply because we've been uh, asked uh, to uh, do something by uh, European uh, uh, institutions and uh, uh, more concretely, uh, together with uh, ScanCoin, we've been consulted uh, to do a um, system uh, that could uh, uh, inspect uh, the coins in circulation, first of all, on the physical parameters. Uh, so this is uh, typically an, uh, the specialty of a scan coin. And the system would also have uh, to be able to uh, sort the unfit coins. And this is uh, where we come. Uh, so, I'd like uh, to share uh, with you uh, the experience of uh, developing this uh, VisiCoin 2C for circulated uh, coin inspection. So, uh, for people who is not uh, familiar with our system, a short video uh, that shows uh, the VisiCoin, uh, the traditional VisiCoin in, uh, in uh, action.
So, uh, to answer uh, to the need of uh, the Bank of uh, the Czech Republic, uh, what we did first is uh, take this VZ coin that was developed for new coins inspection, and we tried it uh, together with a scan coin uh, with a scan coin machine to uh, to see if we were uh, covering the need, and the feedback. Was, uh, sorry. The, the feedback, feedback uh, was that uh, the machine is doing the job, so it's approved. But uh, uh, the Czech uh, Republic told us that uh, uh, we needed uh, something uh, more uh, more uh, automatic. Uh, so uh, we. Uh, uh, so uh, we had to work on. Um, uh, we had to work. Uh, sorry, uh, I'm not supposed to have the <laughs> the slide now. Sorry. Um, so um, uh, we get the message of uh, the customer that uh, we had to develop a system. Uh, without uh, uh, settings, where everything should be preset. So this is uh, where we started our development based on uh, the customer feedback. So to understand uh, the difficulty of uh, inspecting coins in circulation, I will show you what uh, we do on new coins. On a new coin, uh, all the coins are exactly the same, or that's uh, what uh, the means uh, try to do, uh, at least. That's, uh, and uh, we have to detect uh, very minor, uh, very minor differences, such as uh, this one or uh, this one here. And uh, okay, so for a vision system, this kind of uh, this kind of work is uh, easy. Also, in the mint, people would like to uh, keep the control and uh, on all the parameters of uh, inspection in order to refine their sorting. But uh, okay, on the sorting of uh, coins in circulation, in the other hand, uh, things are quite different. Uh, to start with. All the coins are different. Uh, you have uh, some uh, good, uh, good, uh, good coins like here. You have some coins that are dirty, like this one, but it's uh, perfectly still usable. And uh, then you have the coins that are beyond dirty. Okay, that would be the unfit coins. Okay. So. Uh, uh, to uh, add more complexity to uh, the task that must be done, uh, people uh, in the cash centers, uh, let's say, uh, the settings for uh, the inspection of the coins must be uh, defined uh, by, the, by the central bank. So uh, for us, uh, this is not uh, the usual uh, the usual way to, to work. So this is where we start uh, the challenge. So uh, what uh, we realized is that uh, in our classical approach, we were missing some uh, criteria uh, for the adapted for the inspe inspection of coins in circulation. So. Uh, we created our own criteria. Uh, so, we said uh, to be uh, good, we think that uh, a coin must be readable. Uh, people must be able to read what's written on the coin. So, uh, we created a readability parameter. Okay. Then, uh, a coin. Uh, must be uh, easy to identify, okay? So we created a parameter of uh, signature. And uh, to end with, 
uh, a coin uh, should not present any major damage. Okay, so here we had nothing to create because the, we had already the, the algorithms from our existing uh, VisiCoin system, and uh, so here we are with the three very simple parameters. Uh, that are adapted to the coins in circulation and uh, that allows us uh, to make a system that is uh, um, uh, that we can set in factory and that uh, the cash centers will not have to readjust afterwards. So, uh, what's uh, interesting here is that uh, with those three parameters, we see that uh, we can start to uh, uh, to de develop a standard for inspection of uh, unfit coins. And uh, another interesting point also is that uh, after only three months, uh, we had a ready-to-use solution for coins in circulation. Whereas, uh, three months before, there was nothing. So, uh, now, uh, okay. Uh, so now, uh, together with ScanCoin, we can offer uh, the ProDetect VisiCoin 2C and ScanCoin ICP Active 9 for a full inspection of uh, circulating coins. Or we can also offer the ProDetect VisiCoin 2C plus per contact contracts, uh, also from a scan point. Okay, so uh, in conclusion, uh, I would say that uh, uh, our goal will be to uh, always listen to uh, our customers, to improve our products, and uh, to offer uh, solutions fast and adapted to the needs of our customers. Thank, Thank you. you.